Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, hope you're doing well, and we've got a little crystal opening. It's a little chilled crystal opening here, and I'm going to end with a 6 star basic, a little bit of spice uh, for the video, because I want to I want to do that, just uh, add a little bit of spice to the extra point of it. So lots of things to open up, as I'm very busy at the moment with uh, another side project, but still Marvel Contest Champions and the channel are my main focuses, and I've got a lot of content still planned to make. I've been enjoying doing a lot of these kind of like top fives or top champions for interactions, uh, which have been great. These mean a lot of things that have been suggested on the discord so i'm trying to get one out for sunday but i don't know 100 if i'm able to get that out in time it's just that i'm uh, and if you've been following the content you know i've been working on uh, another project uh, with a company and it's not associated with the youtube channel but it is something that i'm working on and is taking up a good chunk of time and then it will calm down then it heats back up again with work and it goes it like fluctuates but there's a lot of time and effort that has to be put into it uh, which is good because it means that I can focus on that and also focus on the YouTube channel so that's that's good it essentially is like um, a part-time job but it's kind of like um, it's an opportunity I did not want to turn down and it is a great opportunity that um, yeah I couldn't I, could, I just couldn't say no to as um, it's very nice but I can't tell you about it at the moment but I'll be kind of like talking about it whenever I'm allowed to but in any case let's get into some crystal opening and talk about some stuff with MTOC and plans so as I said lots of plans are in the works with MTOC being a bit quiet at the moment I've been working on a few kind of like preparations for things and top fives which I'm interested in doing and also going back to old guides and redoing them in preparation for I don't know March, April, May, especially going to the summer months to do 2022 versions of old guides and kind of have a big push this year. But it's just very difficult on time because of this other project I'm working on uh, to kind of balance balance my time. Like I'm working sometimes to like 1 a.m. in the morning uh, and to get to get things done. Um, but I'm kind of figuring out a way to balance stuff. That's a good start though to this because like I've just picked up. And let's focus now on the on on MCOC and champions I'm ranking up and stuff like that. And, and and things okay so i've got a tier five uh class catalyst great thumbs up because that means i can do some more rank ups i'm doing a little bit of preparation in the future for the future when it comes to certain champions and in particular with quicksilver coming out i want to say july august time maybe even september uh, having that there would be good i've got to rank up some more champions i've definitely got to do a skill oh yeah i've got to, i've got to rank three a ton more Gold is becoming a little bit of an issue, but as well, I'm just finishing off some stuff with Act 7.2.6, which I'm planning to do this weekend, and then move on to 7.3 and get everything done in a timely fashion, as uh, pace is very important. And I'm doing things now in-game as a, as a non-spender. If you've been following the content as well, you'll know why I'm a non-spender uh, currently, and hopefully there's going to be some improvements to the game that will make me interested in spending, but currently I'm I, I'm not, not making any plans to spend in game until problems have been resolved. Let's get some envelopes open. Also, shout out to everybody that's been sending me envelopes. I haven't been able to return back anything, but yeah, everybody that's kind of like very kindly sent me um, envelopes. Thank you so much. Obviously, I'd love to return back every single one, but I wouldn't. I don't have enough. I wouldn't have enough tickets to send back what people have very kindly uh, given me. So, if anybody's uh, watching, um, thank you very much for sending through uh, all you've done. And uh, yay, great, a load of loyalty, and also three hundred and three hundred thousand gold added into the um, uh, to my resources, which is which is great, fantastic. Thank you very much, everybody. And also some more gold crystals. So that again is good. Lots of gold crystals. Right, so that's one type of envelopes open. Let's open up the other other lot. And I'm hoping I get units from them because I want to get some units. Six to open. I'm going to spin one out, pop the five, as you do, and see what I do get, which is, first of all, a bit of gold. That's fine. Pop the last five, hopefully. Some units in that. 3,264 is what I got. And um, I'm hoping not to touch that. Ah, that's a shame. Uh, but gold, as I said, like gold, uh, I need gold at the moment for the rank ups. I got so many rank three six stars to do. So yeah, I'm happy for the gold and such. Thank you for everybody that. Uh, well, no, that that's, that comes from the calendar. In any case, moving on to uh, some others. Going to pop open some Grandmaster crystals now. So I get uh, get some of them popped open. Grab ten, a pack. No, grab five then, and then uh, grab the rest of them. Hopefully, pick up a cheeky little five star. That would be nice. Let's go. Ooh. Come on. 
don't connection. There we go. So I've got one new champion. I bet it's going to be a three star because I can go like, oh no, it's going to be a three, isn't it? It's going to be a three. It's going to be a three. Oh, so yeah, there we go. We did get a five. That's that's good. I mean, the new one is Jubilee. Shouldn't be so excited excited about that. But getting uh, Miles uh, awakened. I don't know. Is this first time awakening for me? Let's have a look. It's going to be. Um, no, nope, I've got uh, up to signature one hundred. Okay, cool. That's nice. That's nice to pick up that. That's a nice bit of luck in a uh, in Grandmaster crystals to get five star. Man, that's, uh, that's good odds. I, I think it's good odds. What's the, what is the odds? Drop rates on it. Uh, percentages. 2%. 2.4%. Nice. Okay. Sweet. And uh, now we'll do a 5 star Nexus. Because I've had this one ages. This 5 star Nexus. And now there's not there's nothing really champion wise I'm hunting for. Unless something like Hercules goes into the basic. Which I've not been able to get as of yet. But then I really don't want it to be that. Similar to like the Professor X. And um. A mega red situation, which I've recently pulled, and I just kind of feel not anticlimactic because it's like it was just weird. If you've been following the, the for the last two plus years of me trying to get, or since the dual class crystal came in, it's just been like I think you, a lot of I've seen a lot of people reach the point where they just go, oh, uh, like I've I've been hunting for this. People go through f features in particular. Oh, I've been hunt trying to do this for the best part of like what ten, like one hundred and fifty thousand. Five star shards, six star shards, and haven't got the champion I've won, and they just feel so deflated by the end of it. They're like, when they get the champion, they're like, oh, oh, yay, I, I got it, yay. It's like what is, there's like a not a meme, but assuming it's like I got it, but at what cost, kind of thing. And you kind of go, oh, and then you've ranked up a load of weird champions. You're like, or you've got a load of new weird champions. You're like, oh right, okay, do they need a buff? course they do stuff like that right let's go for a cheeky five star feature to put into uh to this and um, there we go so i'm gonna grab i can only grab one at the moment um but yeah i want my null to be honest null and i think it's craven craven's definitely one i'd like to get anti-venom guillotine 2099 i'm cool with because um I'm just about to rank three my gear team 29-9 as six star. Recently fell back in love with the champion, um, especially because I picked her up as six star. I had her as five star, five star um, rank five, but I'm like, I really wanted to get a six star version, picked it up and I was happy. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, that's not. No, 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 no. That's not, that's not, that's not, that's not what I want to see, you know? That's not, that's not the vibe. That's not the vibe. Ugh. In any case, um, I don't have enough to do a five star, another five star basic. I'm not doing six star featured at the moment, as as much as I would like Kitty Pride, I just don't want to dodge a load of champions that I'm not really interested in. There's some good champions. I'm not knocking any new champions. It's just that I kind of feel like there's some I like because they've got unique abilities or they've got something new and fresh. I'm trying to get like Null, which I personally like, and as well uh, Kitty Pride, and. I suppose that's really it. I mean, look, there's other champions. I'm not knocking any new champion. It's just like, there's nothing that really stands out to me in this that I don't want to dodge bullets. And dodging bullets would be champions I've already got a six star or kind of like awakened and six star and champions I would never use. And that's just the point of like coming to like so a lot of champions. I'm kind of like, right, there's 217 plus champions or whatever. And it's like, you end up like dodging bullets of champions. You're like, well, I've already got a stacked roster. I don't want to rank up the champion because there's nothing like I personally want for any given content. And that's the, because I've got 7.3 and 6.4 still to do. I don't want to dodge bullets and stuff. And especially because of ranking up for, what is it, the Karina's challenges. You have to be very careful about who you're ranking up and what the process is. Do I like the champion because I personally like the character? Do I like the champion because I need to use it for something? Or do I like the champion... Or I want to rank up the champion for other reasons. And that's the thing. You always have to have reasons to why you're ranking up champions. So go with a process. Right, what we can do a singular cav is nothing. Nothing in a singular cav. So I'm going to end the video with going with a six star basic. Because, you know, I wanted to give it a bit of spice. I thought about doing a video and kind of like how I'd end it. And by the way, I am saving up to do one of those six star crystal openings on a live stream. But I don't have plans to do it now. Uh, it will probably be like down the line because I want to have like, you know, 10, 15, 20 six star basics. 
And again, you might be wondering why I go six star basics, and it's just because I just not into the featured as much. And maybe you, maybe not this featured, but maybe I'm saving up for this next featured, and that's maybe when I'll do like a bigger opening because we'll have things like uh, Cat Wilson. We'll also have um, yeah, all the other kind of like newer champions. Uh, that are running and hopefully command release some really spicy ones in any case let's end with a six star basic and see if we can get a bit of spice <laughs> i would do fisty fortune shout out to you uh, fist but you know um time is uh is of the essence and from this i don't really know what i want want to get i mean i would like to get a uh, professor x at six star i like my five star version but i've got a five star version so it's kind of like zero point um a mega red maybe something i can use an awakening gem on that i've got Maybe a sneaky awakening of some description. Let's just see what happens. Something god tier and beautiful. And oh, okay, that's that's fine. That's uh, I think that's the first time awakening for my symbiote supreme. I've got the five star up high, and I need to do something more. So that's actually a pretty solid pull to get to get that and uh, uh, and kind of like get the uh, get the little awakening there on it. Nice, 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 nice. I got one tier 5 class catalyst, which is great, so I can actually kind of like use it on that. And uh, yeah, just checking over the ability of uh, Symbiote Supreme. The biggest problem I have is repetition of champions that do exactly the same thing, or similar. I know saying exactly the same thing is triggers some people, the MCC Andes out there. But uh, the, the kind of process of like staggering champions and kind of suppressing buffs. And yeah, I, I get it that he does do different things, but essentially we're just going with the medium of... He can suppress buffs, uh, and that's just a lot of the time. It's just going like, okay, well, I've got Doctor Doom, Black Widow, Clairvoyant. I've got the Scarlet Witch Sigil. You know, I've got three champions that effectively do similar things, but it's maybe like a contender to do rank three. And I do like the champion. I've I've got a lot of time for for Symbia Supreme, so uh, so maybe I kind of like do that as my next rank three. In any case, that's been the video. A bit of luck, a bit of fun, a bit of spice, and a nice little cheeky awakening that I'm actually pretty happy about. So yeah, make sure to check out some other content located on screen right now. Have a lovely weekend, whatever you're doing, and whoever you're doing it with. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.